What is up everyone? My name is Shivam and in today's video I will be showing you how to make this origami earth bender. And this is part of a series in which I'll be showing you how to make this fire bender, this water bender, and this air bender. I'm really excited. Let's get into it. So we've got a little earth bender here. There's this little chunk of rock. So what we need is just a regular sheet of square paper. I'd prefer green because the earth bender color is green. But you could choose any one you'd like. So we'll start out by making an 8 by 8 grid, which is 64 total pieces, I believe. So we'll first fold in half. And we'll align these two edges right here. And we'll crease. Now we'll unfold and we'll fold it in half again so that we have a plus. So we'll crease right here. All right, now we'll unfold and we'll fold the bottom flap to the center. Just like this. And now we'll flip it over and we'll fold the bottom flap to the center. And we'll crease just like this now we'll unfold and we'll flip it over now we'll fold this bottom part up to the first crease up and we'll crease now we'll fold that part back fold it back and now we'll fold it up to the center crease and we have this little pattern here, and we'll repeat until we reach the top. So fold up, crease. And last one, we'll just fold up. and crease and now we'll unfold and now we'll repeat the same thing on this other side we'll also fold this portion into eighths so i'll go a little faster here All right, and we're done. Now we'll open it up and we should have an eight by eight grid. So eight by eight. Now we'll fold this bottom right corner and we'll go two units diagonally right here, one, two. And then we'll go two units down. Then we'll go one, two, three units up and then one unit down. So the way we'll do that is we'll turn it over and fold the top right corner to the bottom left and crease two units right up here. Right over here. And then we'll unfold. 
Now we'll fold the bottom right corner to the center and we'll only crease on two units so that we have a little triangle down here. And crease and unfold. Now we can squash fold this in to strengthen this fold that we just made. And we can unfold. Now we'll do the same thing on this side, except when we fold the bottom left to the top or to the center, we'll fold three units. So one, two, three, right here. And now we'll unfold. Now we'll rotate and we'll fold the top right corner right here to this triangle that we had made earlier and only crease one unit. Right here, one unit. All right, now we'll collapse this side as well. And we'll do both sides and we'll strengthen these folds. Now we'll unfold. Now, one unit from the top, from up here, will right here, so one unit, we'll make a little V right here. So we'll, f we'll flip it over and we'll fold the bottom left corner to that triangle again and crease one unit from away from the top right here. And now we'll do that same thing right here. So we'll fold it over and we'll crease. So we have a little V right here. And remember, it should only be on these two units. It shouldn't go all the way. Now, we're gonna, from the middle crease, we're gonna pinch up one unit. So if this is the middle crease, right between these two, we'll make another crease. So we have it split into a 16th. So we'll fold up and we'll crease. Now we'll unfold and we'll fold down on that crease that we just made. So we unfold and fold down, just like this. Now we'll fold in half, left to right. And now at the top left corner, we're gonna fold that point down to this line that we have. and crease. Now we'll unfold. Okay, just like this. Now we'll make this little triangle or square uh, mountain folds. So two of them will be valley folds, so we want to make it a mountain fold. Now we're gonna have these creases right here. Make sure they're strong. All right, now we'll rotate and we'll collapse the model. So we'll fold up and back, up and back, up, back, and finally up. Now, the side that has two units, it should be to the left, right here. Now, from the bottom left corner, we'll mountain fold this part right here and make a little trapezoid here. So as you can see here, I have a very faint outline of it. So we'll stick our finger back and push it in. And now we'll take our thumb and push in this triangle that's one unit tall, and we'll collapse. Crease, and we should have something that looks like this. Now we'll repeat the same thing here. We'll make this part half a trapezoid. Next, we'll valley fold this left part right here. And then the rightmost part, we're just gonna push it in. So we have a mountain fold right here and we'll just push it in, just like this. Now this is what we have. All right, now we'll fold that little, this layer, we'll fold it down and we'll fold it back up. Now we'll rotate it and fold this little flap up. Now 
this will be the leg. So what we're going to do here is we're going to fold this flap down or up one third of the way. So like right here, one third of the way of this square. So that this little portion is equivalent to that upper portion. So this one is equal to this one. And now we'll fold this little point of the triangle up here, right here. And now we'll loosen that fold. Now this back part, you can leave it a cape, but I'd suggest making it another leg. So we'll take it and we'll just repeat the same thing we did here. We'll fold this one third of the way up. And then we'll fold that little point down. Right here. And crease. So forward right here, and we've got the body of our bender right after we fold this top part down. And there isn't any exact place where you should fold it down. You can just make a rough guess. Now we'll flip it over, and right along this middle part, we're just going to push our thumb down right here at this little square, just like this. And so that that's a valley fold and the surrounding folds are mountain folds. Now we'll collect that and we'll push it in just like this. And now from the other side, we're gonna push it in and fold. So all we did was just push this little part in. and collapse. Now these top sticking out points, we're gonna fold them into the center. So this to here. And we'll crease. And this will be the hand. The hand. And we'll do the bottom one. All right, and now for the rock. All right, and now we'll flip it over. Now right here, we'll see that little V-like shape that we had made earlier, right here. And from behind, we'll push open right where it ends. So that one unit, so this one by two unit block, we'll just push back, just like this. And we'll valley fold on these two points, just like this. And now from behind, you can push in with your thumbs, just right here. And our earthbender is actually done. Now this little outside part, you can maybe cut it off or glue it, or it can be like a little force field that surrounds the rock, if you would like. And now once you make two earthbenders, you can actually like have them have a little match or so. Now there are these little things that I call gustos, and I'll show you the gusto for this one. So I call it, you can call it boulder smash or like Pac-Man, and it's basically where you grab these top two edges and you fold it down like this. So you just pinch and you have a little boulder smash or Pac-Man. I think that that's really cool. So in order to complete all of your training, you can click here to learn how to make the firebender and here to learn how to make the airbender. And don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button down below. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.